welcome to the second part of this video presentation on Osmo regulation. Today we're going to be looking at ADH. So first of all, just some brief points to, uh, to remember about ADH and its role in Osmo regulation. Okay, so the first point is that we gain water through our food and our drink and we also produce water during respiration. Water is also lost through urine, feces, sweat, and the water vapor which we breathe out as well. Now there needs to be a balance between water gained and water lost. If there is an imbalance then it might cause our cells to either gain or lose water through osmosis. Now remember that osmosis is the movement of water across a partially permeable membrane so that's basically from an area where there's lots of water to an area where there's less water. So the hormone ADH is produced in the pituitary gland, which is located just below the hypothalamus, and this controls how much water is reabsorbed back into the blood within the kidney nephrons. But why is water or osmoregulation so important? Well, if you take our blood cells, for example, if, uh, if we drink too much water, then what can happen is that our blood plasma becomes less concentrated and if that happens then our cells might take on water and cause them to burst. If we drink too little water then our blood plasma, plasma might become more concentrated therefore our red blood cells lose water which causes them to shrink and shrivel. Okay so here you've got a diagram showing you the net flow of water moving from left to right. The reason being is that here you've got an area of high water concentration to an area of low water concentration and the reason this area is lower is because there's a higher sugar concentration here. Okay so we're going to have a look at how ADH actually regulates um, blood water. So here you've got the normal levels and if there's a change from that stable level, whether there's too little or too much, that change is detected by receptors. Information is then sent to the hypothalamus, which is the control center, which tells it to stimulate either more ADH in the case of there being too little or less ADH if there's too much water. If there's too much water, then less ADH is released which means that less water gets reabsorbed by the kidneys. Therefore, you're going to get a less concentrated urine. If you've got too little water in the blood, more ADH is released, more water gets reabsorbed, so you're going to have a more concentrated urine. And if you're just to go by color, this one would be more yellow, this one would be less yellow. Okay, so some key points to just remember about ADH is that A, it controls osmoregulation, B, it's a hormone, so it's a chemical messenger that travels to the blood, and it does a very similar job to nerves, but obviously it's a lot slower acting. 